hey guys welcome back to my channel it's muji here and i'm back with another sunscreen review so in today's video we'll be reviewing these two sunscreens we have the cotton misha sunscreen and the aqua misha sunscreen let's go okay so you guys like i said before we reviewing these two sunscreens i've tried this one i've been using this one for a while now and guys this sunscreen <laughs> firstly this particular cotton misha is a mineral sunscreen because the ingredients list it contains zinc oxide and titanium oxide which are two key ingredients for mineral sunscreens the mineral sunscreen reflects uv rays like it sits on the skin and then it reflects these uv rays that's why most times it leaves a white cast you get on like a chemical sunscreen chemical sunscreens are absorbed by the skin then it's you know convert this uv rays into heat so that's the key difference between a chemical sunscreen and a mineral sunscreen mineral sunscreen is just like your physical sunscreen as well so this misha cotton right it's not really popular this was a gift and prior to that i don't think i've ever encountered this cotton misha before i've heard of the essence the daily then the aqua as well so let's just read what's on it it says SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 of versus SPF 50 plus is just the level of protection against UVB rays, whereas the PA plus 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 is the level of protection against UVA rays. And this PA plus 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 is mostly used by the Japanese, the Koreans, and some other countries. So it says a mattifying sunscreen with cutting fitting system that helps absorb excess oil and reduce shine leaves skin with a matte and non-sticky finish a soft cotton sunscreen without shine <laughs> this thing makes my face shine so i don't really know what they are saying because it literally makes my face shine a physical sunscreen formulated with 100 percent zinc sweat proof formula that's not afraid of sweat yes i think this one is correct sweat proof formula that's not afraid of sweat i think that one's correct because it doesn't really make me sweat then directions take an adequate amount of the content and apply to face tips we apply as needed during sun exposure caution discontinue use if irritation or rash occurs do not use unbroken damaged skin yeah, yeah yeah they said do not stay too long in the sun even while using a sunscreen product i think we should review this one now although i've used this before i just always put it back in the pack because i hardly use it so let's just let's just review this using the two finger rule if you tried this before please let us know in the comment section normally when i'm using this sunscreen here yeah, to even like pack it on my face even the two finger rule i don't even think i really do it because it will just leave my face so white I'm tired of blending, honestly Like this is what I go through with this sunscreen You guys, it's a no-no from me for this one Because even when I'm done blending it to still make my face shine but it doesn't make me sweat it just makes my face shine a lot then obviously i get the questions what did you rub on your face why is your face looking like so i'm tired of blending i decided to stop and i waited for about seven minutes and my face is still like this but i know i'm supposed to apply at least 15 minutes before going outdoors but maybe if i wait 15 minutes it's going to blend in but i doubt because i use this before and it makes my face white so if i really want to use this i'll be using it indoors or i'll use it on my body as well so yeah that's it for this sunscreen okay, so for this misha aqua sunscreen or aqua misha sunscreen this is the first time i'm going to be trying this one although i think i've seen reviews on it and i've heard so much about this aqua misha sunscreen you know that it's really good it's really nice good for oily skin so i'm really looking forward to trying this so let's just read what's on the pack misha all around safe block aqua sun spf 50 plus pa plus 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 a hydrating sunscreen is infused with aquaporine active formula that delivers a burst of moisture as soon as you apply it to hydrate skin without a sticky feeling 
Okay, okay. That means this is like unhydrating sunscreen. Wow, I mean, this would be good for dry skin as well if it's dehydrating sunscreen. Yeah, this one would be good for dry skin. Sun protection, a hydrating sunscreen, like a cooling hydrating cream. Low molecular weight hyaluronic acids replenish skin with moisture. Helps reduce the temperature of the skin. Helps improve moisture loss due to UV rays. Wow, this would be really nice. I already like what's on it. So for someone like me that don't like a lot of pink products on my face, I, I think I'll really like this one. So directions, take an adequate amount of the content and apply to face. We apply as needed during sun exposure. Wow. It's actually so light. I like things that are really light. I don't know if it's because it's a chemical sunscreen or the other one is a mineral or physical sunscreen. I don't know if that's why. Oh my god, I love this. Like it's lightweight, it's not that thick, and it's actually hydrated. Okay, it contains fragrance. See guys, look at look at how this one is already blending in and compared to the other one so wow they even take us time to blend at all so i think i really like how light with this is or like the other one that was a bit thick i preferred this one and it doesn't leave a white cast okay so that's it for the aqua misha and cutting misha sunscreen review so thank you so much guys for watching and don't forget to give this video a like leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed thank you so much for watching until next time guys bye